And welcome back to Jack Gaming. I am finally back to doing a gaming video after being a gun tuber for a little bit. <laughs> so, we are playing a game, Tokyo Warfare Turbo. It's basically like a Japanese World of Tanks game. And it's actually pretty fun. So, you got different modes. You got survival, deathmatch, team deathmatch. I normally do team deathmatch. Survival, I'd recommend getting a higher tier tank. So, basically, you pick your mode. And you've got a selection of different tanks in your countries, Japan, Britain, America, German, Chinese, and Russian. And also, I'm going to be using a Russian tank because they're pretty awesome. they got a pretty powerful cannon. Uh, I think I'll go with this one. I think that one's a good one. So, there's a lot of different tanks. Some of them are useless. Others are pretty neat in their own special way. You can... You know, use machine guns to take out tanks slowly, but you got a lot more shots. You can use bigger cannons. You can have guns that only face the front of the tank, or you can have a coaxial one that goes with the main cannon. And I'm just, you know, kind of doing a gun review, or not a gun review, a game review on the, uh, God, I'm just going to call it Tokyo Warfare, because it's easier. Or right, Turbo just, I don't, it's like a Japanese title, it's got Turbo in there, even though it doesn't really use turbos. I mean, some tanks might, but I don't, I don't think a lot do. So we're gonna go ahead and start up a match here, and I'm gonna give the rating of the game after the match and how I think it is. And one thing I'll say about this game is the brightness is awful. Like, it's super bright for like different white landscapes and stuff. So sometimes you almost kind of pick the map that has the <laughs> least worst brightness, because that part is pretty awful. You can just see just how bright the floor is in this. It's it's a lot. I mean, I've gotten used to it, but for people playing the game, that might just turn you off because it just hurts your eyes. Also, has a weird thing where the NPCs spawn before you even start fighting, which is kind of interesting. So, you can zoom out on your tank, and you can use the bumpers to zoom in different magnifying. I normally am just on full magnify and just kind of snipe enemies like that. And there's a little bit of drop in this, but you're kind of going to be always aiming a little high on some of these and the machine gun you can see also kind of shoots at different angles too uh, I also recommend don't drive while you're zoomed in like this because it's pretty awful but you can with these more powerful tanks you can just kind of wreck people like over and over like the first few games I was struggling to get four kills but now I can do that in quick succession like you know oops kind of whiff that shot a little bit and you can also use the machine gun because it's got tracers to kind of line up your shots a little bit better. And they also, it also does decent damage. Like, I think I killed that tank even before the gun did. Normally it's not that powerful. I think that tank was a little weaker. Uh, but it is a pretty fun game. I, I just kind of like doing this deathmatch where it's in this room and you're just kind of obliterating tanks left and right. Uh, you definitely want to get good at leading your shots and finding your aim point. Oh, a little bit too much lead. And like I said earlier, on survival, you're definitely going to want to wait till you have a better tank like this one. I'm only like maybe halfway through the leveling system, which that's the nice thing is to earn new tanks, you just level up, you don't buy them. So it really influences on playing multiple games, you know, you get like, you know, less points if you shoot your teammates and stuff. And I'm probably actually a decent amount of XP because I've actually got a decent amount of kills in this one. I normally do a little better, but I've kind of been playing around the different types of tanks. I'm trying not to hit my teammate, but also hit this guy. There we go. Um, I highly recommend this game if it ever goes on sale. I think it was like seven bucks or something like that when I saw it, and I I was like, oh, that just looks way too much fun. And if you're going for it for achievements, it has pretty easy achievements. I think the hardest one is, you know, the survival part, which, like I said, you're probably going to want to wait until you get a higher tier. And almost all the achievements are level-based and getting multiple kills, which I probably would have gotten, you know, three kills just then in quick succession. But pretty fun little game. Um, I'm going to say uh, it's an 8 out of 10. You know, just for how cheap it is as a game, 
taking that in consideration, I mean, the biggest problems are the brightness, the wonky driving controls. I normally, like, just find a decent spot and I just kind of sniper, you know, kind of move back and forth, but not, like, do too crazy of movements. But I got 23 kills in that match, did pretty good. And this is the point system, will even tell you, like, how close you are to the next rank. But, you know, pretty interesting little game. So if anyone wants to give it a try, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. I highly recommend this game if you like tank games like World of Tanks or like Armored Warfare, I think it is. It's pretty fun. And I haven't even gotten to the higher tier tanks. Like, you know, if you get to like the American tanks, like I've got a few unlocked, but then there's DLC ones, which I, I don't recommend buying. I don't think they're worth it. But there's other ones all throughout. Even helicopters apparently later in the game, which I'm excited to do that. that. That could just be fun. So, that was it for this game review. Like I said, 8 out of 10. I think that's a f pretty lenient review on, you know, a lot of the flaws in this game. Uh, also, the menu is a little bit wonky, which, yeah, it's not too bad once you get used to it. But, highly recommend the game if you like, you know, Japanese kind of ripoffs of American... Or, I don't even know if it's an American game, but world of tanks but it's pretty fun so please give it a try please like and subscribe and comment if you can thank you